Hello Capricorn, welcome to the channel. I hope you're all doing well and thank you for your likes, shares and subscribes. Now we have keep your heart open, first quarter moon in Libra. So Libra might be relevant here. Keep your heart open. The first quarter moons are challenges. So this might be a challenge just now. Keep your heart open. You might be feeling upset about something. Um, but if you can get over that, you're going to move on. So keep an open heart here. Keep an open heart. Citrine, unnecessary worries, you see? Yeah, unnecessary worries here. Release the burden of worries by giving them to God or he for healing and solutions. So there's something here that you're worrying about that's weighing heavy on your mind. We talk about unnecessary worry in tarot and spirit world because it's not going to resolve your issues. We need to take that step back, be wise about this, understand that challenges happen for a reason, and we need to put it out to the universe, give it to spirit and listen to our intuition. Um, let's see what the guidance says in relation to this message. If this resonates, please like, share and subscribe. There we go. You see the Three of Swords, the Queen of Cups, the High Priestess, the Seven or the Eight rather of Pentacles. <coughs> Excuse me. The overall central energy is the Judgment card. The Four of Swords, the Ten of Swords, the Fool, and the Three of Cups. Now, there's been mental anxiety here. There's been upset. There's heartfelt disappointment here. Um, really, the clouds will clear and you will, a new day will dawn. They always say that with the Three of Swords. But this is, you will get through these mental anxieties if you give them to spirit. And listen to your intuition here and follow your heart chakra. You need to take a step back to heal. Work through your emotions most definitely. And when you've done that, you'll be able to put these mental anxieties behind you. Your intuition will kick in. There's two cards here of intuition. Now, your intuition is on point. So you excuse me, highly intuitive at this time. Listen to, you know, be aware that you can give these worries to spirit and spirit will guide you here. And it's about connecting in with your higher self and spirit. Listen to your gut feeling about things, what you're seeing and sensing around you most definitely. And doing what's right for you in the end. Following your own heart chakra here. You can see the lightning in the background, but in the end you have to do what's right for you. So what you're needing to do here to help, to heal, is to take the step back, pamper yourself, look after yourself. Look after yourself here, definitely. Keep an open heart. Listen to your heart. Come out your head here because your ego will not guide you correctly. You'll block your intuition if you're in your ego or in your head. We need to heal. We need to look after yourself. It's about self-care. You could be recovering from an illness, some of you as well. But this person has been through battles. And now it's time to pamper yourself, do things you enjoy, take that step back from everything and take review your situation and decide how you want to go forward and at the end of the day we always have to do what's right for ourselves so you have to do what's right for you here and you have to follow your heart uh, and your intuition you will when you ground yourself you'll be able to connect in and this is reviewing things in relation to what you've learned and what you've been through just take it's like catching your breath take time to catch your breath and work through your emotions here most definitely because this is about a judgment call that you're making and this is a judgment call in relation to your own happiness most definitely it's something that's going to free you you're going to feel like a phoenix that's rising from the ashes here you're deciding to move forward you're deciding to follow your heart um you're making a judgment call based on your past experiences like i've said here um you're starting to review things and see it more clearly definitely and this judgment call can be based on things, past knowledge, past experiences, definitely, but based on things that are never going to improve either. Sometimes we can go through deja vu type situations that are never going to get any better. And that can be upsetting and there can be continual mental anxiety attached to situations like that. So what we're doing is we're making this wise choice. You're going to release yourself and you're moving forward. And what's going to happen is you're going to start a brand new journey. And this is about starting from ground zero getting rid of whatever's causing this mental anxiety for you, whichever's causing the upsets and the stress and the, you know, the heartfelt disappointments, letting it all go. You're ready to release it, heal from it, listen to your intuition, keep an open heart, listen to your heart 
and you will pivot forward. And that's what I'm saying about first quarter moons. It is obstacles you have to get over. And once you get over this healing process and once you recover, you're just going to pivot forward. You're getting over the obstacles, you see, the mental anxieties you're going through and you'll start this brand new journey. And you're travelling light. You're travelling, you're not taking all that garbage with you. You're leaving it behind, you see. And what you're doing is here, you're focusing on what's important to you. You've got a goal here. There's something you need to work on. So you're working on, this could be to do with work, uh, relationships, money, uh, or environments. So it might be you want to take your skills elsewhere. It might be that you want to develop your skills, bring in a mentor here, you know, educate yourself more. It could be having a, focusing on your finances and having a good financial plan. It could be working on, you know, your environment, doing something to improve your situation. It's gaining focus again. You're gaining, you're getting your focus back and you're recovering from the mental anxieties you've been through. And you've got the skills to do that. You've got the skills to work on something, to build something new. And this is a new journey for you. You're doing it on your own. You're doing it on your own. You've got the skills to do this. Now, this here is about, when I'm saying here about doing something you enjoy, make sure you're around the right people at this time, people you can trust. Uh, go and do something you enjoy. Have a night out, have an afternoon out. Uh, connecting with friends but as well you know this new journey you might want to celebrate it this releasing yourself from something you're wanting to celebrate it's time to lighten up and have fun definitely abundance abundance great news is heading your way abundance is coming to you in many forms and that can be good support networks it can be financial benefits new jobs anything you desire here create Create. Unlock your creative side with dance, music, art or writing. Express yourself. Absolutely. Have fun. Dance. Have fun. Go to karaoke. Anything that you enjoy. Go to yoga. Anything. I hope this helps. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.